Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you how to set up basically a bucket server and a vanilla server. Now both servers require you to set up port forwarding, so we're going to start with that before we actually start playing with any files and set up actually any programs. So um, yeah, let's basically jump into that first. So what you'll want to do is open up your web browser to access your router. You're going to want to put in the URL, uh, which is located in the link below, which is uh, accesses most routers. Now you'll see a login screen for your router. Uh, what usually works by default is for the username admin, and then for the password, we just put in password. Now keep in mind that there are many different routers and many different logon screens, but this is basically um, what you're going to see. Uh, for instance, Linksky's, Netgear, they're all different and I'm just going to show you something really quick here. So no matter what brand you have, you're essentially doing the same thing. Uh, you're just going to be following along, uh, putting in everything I'm doing on my Verizon router, which is a bit more complex. Now what you're looking for is the port forwarding screen, which is basically where you're going to do everything. So uh, just bear with me while I get mine open. Now you might already have a few ports uh, already configured and open, and that's alright. What we're looking for is basically where to open up a new port or configure a new one. After that, uh, once you already find a screen like this or similar to this, then we could actually do what we came here to do. Now what we're looking for is local network. What we're going to have to do is, this may be pre-configured so don't worry, we're going to open up um, our CMD, we're going to type in ipconfig, scroll up, and then we're going to find something called our IPv4 address. Now after we found that, we're going to look at the numbers and we're going to find the, uh, where to put in the local network, if not already pre-configured. We're going to take those numbers and we're going to key them in and make sure they are correct with all the decimals or dots um, basically put in correctly as seen um, in the IPv4 address output that it gave you. So after you did that, we're going to set up port forwarding rules. Now because mine is more than likely is going to be different than yours, uh, I'm just going to skip ahead here and show you the finished result. So what I did was added the port forwarding rules. Um, again, on yours it might be different. So I put in the service name, which is Minecraft, then it's TCP um, any from any port to 25565 which the server is going to run on. Again, you could edit yours to whatever number you want. Um, yeah, but basically on yours it could be both instead of TCP and UDP for both that I configured it on. Um, you could select it to both, but essentially what you want it to do is go from any to your port which you run the server on. In my case it's 25565. Um, so look here, this is basically what I have done, and let me just show you on um, on a different one, an example for how you would set it up. So here you'd put an uh, application or whatever, uh, which is Minecraft, zero, which would be any to your server port, which is in my case 25565, uh, to both IPv4 address, check, and then save settings. If you did not understand a few of the things that I just showed you, it's okay. I'll put um, a brief few sentences on what I actually did and how you can do it uh, down in the description below, um, explaining briefly basically what I did, how it affects your server, and how it benefits from it. So, yeah. Alright, we're done with port forwarding for now, so right now I'm going to show you how to set up your, basically prepare your server. For vanilla, we're going to go to minecraft.net, go under download on the home page, then we're going to go under multiplayer server. For Windows, which we're going to do this tutorial on, we're going to click on Minecraft server.exe, which is the download. Um, let's by the way, just if you're going to download, create a folder on the desktop and put it in that um, for however, I have it downloaded already. For OS users, um, it's a whole different story. There's a whole different article. It helps you with a whole different download, but we're focused on Windows right now. So let's go to Bucket. Uh, for Bucket, you're going to go on a website called Bucket Wiki. I'll supply you a link in the description below. It's going to supply you the latest recommended build. 
uh, for the download, which is right here, and I have it downloaded on the bottom. And then it's going to tell you how to do the additional step, which is to create a, another folder and everything else. And it's going to tell you how to do that from that website. All right, so I have it downloaded. I have both vanilla and bucket downloaded. We are going to minimize. Uh, all right, so I made a folder, and for vanilla, I basically put in uh, what we downloaded inside the folder. All right, for bucket, I created the folder, and I put in the download and the additional step, which is to create that run file to start up the server. All right, let's get started with vanilla. We're going to start with vanilla. All right, we're going to open up our folder, double-click on Minecraft server, click run. Let it uh, basically load up just don't delete anything. Uh, let the folders be created on their own. Now after it's done we're going to click, uh, type in stop click enter and wait for it to um, save everything that it just did once it's done we're gonna click it out and then we're going to open up our uh, server properties folder alright we're going to uh, basically click on server we're going to take a look at it we're going to find the basically where it's going to run the uh, port on make sure it's on the port that you set when you were um, basically putting the uh, port forwarding from any to whatever number you picked or you left it at 25565 so we're going to make sure it's set 25565 now a quick note mod it at the very bottom uh, basically it's the message of the day when people are going to be joining your server they're going to see this so we're just going to be like new server please join alright and then or I could just leave it blank old school we're going to save it click exit we're going to take a look at it um, also by the way you can replace that uh, world file folder with your own world and then you could just run the server and it's going to load up your world alright so let's click this out we're going to take a look we're going to go into bucket alright so basically what we're gonna do is practically the same we're gonna click run let it load up after it's done we're going to type in stop hit enter and let it stop when it's going it's prompt you to hit any button or right, then we do that and we're gonna do the same thing we're going to go into server make sure it's running on the port that you set when you were doing port forwarding from any to your port. Um, while we're doing this, quick note, um, the folder file that says world is the world. Um, if you created a world in single player, you're going to go fish it out, you're going to replace it, and make sure it's named world, and then uh, when you start up the server, it's going to start up with your world. Alright, so this is basically what we're going to do. When it's uh, what we want it to be, we're going to click save exit it out and then we have it finished um, after that you could edit your plugins um, do the world thing or just plain run the server the final step we're going to do is we're going to go on google type in what's my IP address then we're going to take it and that's what you're that's what you're going to use to uh, let players into your server or post on YouTube like an ignorant child um, pop quiz are we going to give only that to them no we're not going to give only that to them. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically take that, um, and let me just show you here. You paste it, and then you do this. Then you're going to put in 25565. That is what you're going to give to them, so their computer knows what port you're running the server on. All right. so. Now to basically tell you what I did with port forwarding. Here we're going to take a look. Um, what we did was uh, TCP, UDP. Uh, you can either do 
each of them, like uh, TCP, then any to then the port you want to run the server on, or you could just do both, which does TCP and UDP, and then you could just do any to whatever port you want to run it on. All right, so um, basically that's it, essentially. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, there are going to be a few sentences on the details on in the description below. Uh, all the links are supplied in the description below. Uh, that's pretty much about it. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a great day.